the shipyard at Govan, currently owned by BAE Systems, has a proud history of building ships from ocean liners to the very last passenger ship for North Sea Ferries, which only recently has gone to be scrapped. The shipyard at Govan has had a major investment, a first of its kind, a major shipbuilding hall, totally under cover to build major warships for the Royal Navy, the Type 26 frigates, out of the elements and totally under cover, allowing the company to build two Type 26 frigates under cover for the first time. The first ship to be built totally under cover at the shipbuilding hall known as the, the Janet Harvey Shipbuilding Hall to honour one of the Second World War's women workers who was a welder at the shipyard during the Second World War. HMS Belfast, the first ship to be named Belfast to be commissioned into service with the Royal Navy following the last museum ship HMS Belfast, the old Second World War cruiser HMS Belfast which has been renamed HMS Belfast 1939 based on the Thames to ease confusion between the two ships. The current day HMS Belfast Type 26 frigate is the third vessel and the first vessel to be built at BAE Systems totally under cover at the new shipbuilding hall. With the three block sections built at the ship block section building hall, the stern, mid and bell sections which will be, be assembled at the new shipbuilding hall facility. The first of which is seen in the hall in early February 2025 prior to assembly of the mid and bow sections of the vessel totally being built under cover for the first time. The first time that a major warship will be assembled totally under cover at this new shipbuilding hall facility for the first time. This new shipbuilding hall facility was the former wet dock facility which was used to fit out ships built and launched from the former Fairfield shipyard of the past. At the time of producing this video the former ships built here at Govan, HMS Glasgow and Cardiff are still being fitted out at BAE Systems Scotstown with the first of the class HMS Glasgow in advanced stage of completion with electrical systems being activated with a completion date on the first vessel HMS Glasgow and ship trials believed to be starting by the end of 2025 or early 2026 with a handover to the Royal Navy in 2026.